dude, do you know those Milgram? Do you remember the Milgram experiments where it's Milgram. like they, they, they put the, you, if you ever took psychology, they they, they love teaching not. this one. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> but they took a bunch of people, said you're prison guards and you're prisoners. Oh, oh yeah, I do yeah, know yeah, this yeah. experiment. Right? Yeah, everyone knows this shit. Force and the prison Whitaker, guards right? took to that shit yeah, quick. Yeah, quick. Yeah, Dude, yeah. you see it right now with this vaccine passport, man. So a lot of people are like, oh, I need to see both. But man, yeah. so many people are like, they have taken to that like power dynamic yeah, quickly. It's like, like it's the vaccine one. passport. Yeah. There's fucking zooming in. It's like. Okay, like I was like, man, Dude, people good love life, authority. Man. You're not like investigating. I know. It's not an audit. <laughs> this bouncer in St. Thomas ran up on me. I was like, <laughs> Did you get into? I was like, Jesus Christ, bro. There's also like this uh, this moral justification that people are like really uh, really leaning on, like whether it's like uh, it's like one side or the other of the spectrum, where it's like. People gotta start to fucking realize that you're not fucking Che Guevara because you didn't wear a mask at Shoppers. Yeah, yeah. And you're not Mother Teresa because you are. Like, yeah. Just fucking relax. Just, just yeah. It's just this, normal. This has become a thing way outside of like we're vaccinating for a sickness. This has become like politics, fucking power dynamics. Like, like if you're if, if you're anti mask masker, you're conservative probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's became affiliated with these. If if you thought nine eleven was an inside job, you probably don't have a vaccine. You know, it's weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like it's connect conspiracy people are like, it's just so weird right now. I'm like, this is past the health thing. It's not health anymore. Like, I thought if we get 75% one vaccine and 30% two vaccines, then your statistics shows that a pandemic can't happen. I thought that was, it was a like a, yeah. Like an actual quantitative analysis of why we're trying to meet these metrics. They burned those papers as soon and that was gone. Now you don't you don't hear about double vaccine. You don't hear about any no, of those no, numbers anymore. No. They're just like get the vaccine. We've before they were like clap for health dude, they, workers. They're now they're 80, like they're at eighty percent of people double vax. Joe Biden. They are. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Eighty percent of the province is double vax. Yes. What? I promise it's you. High. One second. Eighty percent. Yes. Then what the fuck Man, are we doing? Joe Biden. The other day. Uh, let people just in. Joe Rogan. We're all. Joe Rogan showed a clip of Joe Biden. They're like evacuating people for the hurricane or whatever. And he's like, yeah, you know, the best way to stay prepared in the scene of a hurricane is we're going to need you guys to get vaccinated. No way. <laughs> he straight up said that. It's what like, the what? Fuck? What does that have to do with a hurricane? You know what it is? It almost seems like at this point the 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 the, the government bought like it's odd. all of this. The government bought all of these shots. Okay. And they need to be administered for them yep. to They're recoup like it in their budget yeah. kind of thing or whatever. So as of today, it is 80.24% of, of uh, Ontario. Ontario. Is double vaccinated. Yeah. Wow. Everyone, under, what the everyone fuck over are the age of 12. Then and what? like 85% of people are, 85% uh, of people have like a single vaccine. Then why are we getting militant about And if about you're pregnant right and you have the vaccine, your baby has immunity. Yeah? Yeah, uh, yeah? yeah you're, it's a part of, yeah, it's in the system. Yeah. So the baby's good. But one sec. <laughs> these these all seem like such Wild West fucking Levels shit. The baby's good, bro. What? Who said? Like, so weird. Because if we're vaccinated, we're not going to end up in the ICU. The guy who's unvaccinated is going to end up in the ICU. More why can't likely, you? Yeah. Why can't he well, come in? Mark yeah. Anthony had it. And Mark Anthony, I think, only had, doesn't have any shots. So many people had it. Yeah. But it's like, why can't that guy get in? If we are safe, then yeah. it's like, you can't enter because no. you could get really sick here. No, I would. Everybody here is good. Honestly, I really do. Like, even though, like, uh, oh, I'm pretty sure all of us are uh, double vaxxed. I don't yeah. think any yeah. of us want to have that type of my mentality where it's like, oh, my friend who's not vaxxed. Exactly. He can't come in. It's crazy. Like, fucking get the fuck in here. I don't give a shit. But we did it so they would just be like, okay, let us get back to comedy. Yeah. For, don't forget, the only reason we got the vaccines, I don't know anybody in my age who was afraid of getting COVID and being hurt. Yes. Yeah. We only took it because we're like, there's a lot of administrative red tape coming in the yeah. horizon. Yeah. Let's I get the get fucking in. shot yeah. and just be able to travel and do our life regular. Yeah. But now I'm looking over at the other side of the people who didn't get the shot. I'm like, dude, that treatment is unjustified and like so disproportionate yeah. for what's happening. Mm -hmm.